Waterloo. Uh, the French have finally elected the first female president of France. Her name is Angela Merkel. That's a Eurosceptic joke. Keep up. <laughs> when I was a child, I wanted to be Italian. Anyone else? No? You know what they say. People either are Italian or they want to find the Italian who banged their girlfriend last summer. We've, we've all been there. It's a, it's a classic. It's a classic. But bear with me. I had a good reason. I wanted to be Italian because I was born in bloody Italy. Fair enough. Fair enough, you would think, think so, wouldn't you? No, the Italian government is not like the British government. Even if you were born there, they don't give you the citizenship unless you have an Italian parent. They are not like the UK government. Do you know why? Because some governments are stupid. And the Italian government is not one of them. Have you heard of Jihadi John? Has anybody heard of Jihadi Pavarotti? <laughs> Nobody has heard of Jihadi Pavarotti. This is happening. Right-wing comedy in London. Uh, people tell me for someone who claims to be a right-wing comic, you have only one or two right-wing jokes in your routine. Why is that? And to those people I say, come watch me in Kent. I'm pretty big in Kent, let's be real. Uh, I can't make a living doing this in central London, right? Uh, so I came to this country seven years ago to pursue my dream of performing to 35 people. I wish I could do stand-up in Italy, but we don't have stand-up down there. Mainly because the weather is nice outside. And also the themes of comedy don't work in Italy. A lot of comedians in this country like to do self-deprecation, like I'm such a loser, my life's a mess. Italians are not into self-deprecation. Italians have been consistently pleased with themselves ever since they invented civilization. You're welcome. <laughs>